Hello everybody, I'm back with part 2 of the ESO playthrough series. Right now, I'm gonna load back into the character, then like I said last time, I am gonna go fix my attribute points. Which, I'm gonna do this at the uh, guild hall, in the guild that I'm a part of. You guys are gonna want to join a guild, preferably one with a decent amount of people because not only can you use a guild hall, but you can also, uh, you can also use any crafting stations or Mundus stones that they have. Like, I'll show you all the stuff that the guild hall that I use has. Uh, let me go to my inventory here. Then, over here is guilds. Then, I ha I'm part of a two, two guilds right now or actually three, but there is one that I prefer to go to, which is the uh, Dark Merchants Guild Hall, which I'm gonna go there now, which their guild hall is in the Grand Sigic Villa House, which is a Crown Store exclusive house as of right now, but, and this is also one that can't currently be purchased, but it normally comes back around eventually. I am not the guild owner, so I didn't set this up, but this is the guild that I'm a part of, and the guild that I use the most. A lot of these people will communicate with you through Discord, like there's chat and stuff on Discord if you join uh, certain guilds that are actually social. There's some that are kind of just like, you play with each other in-game and nothing beyond that, and there's some that are more social on like Discord and such. And then there's also some that are more hardcore, and there's some that are less, like, for casual players. So you also kind of want to be looking at stuff like that. Okay, right here is what I have to do to uh, fix, fix my stuff here quickly. So you can use this at any level, as long as nothing's saved here and you have enough space in your inventory. If you do this, it will completely reset your character. Now, if I go to my character, I can fix what I have done last time, which was uh, putting the points into that. I put one point here when I didn't mean to. Now that I got that uh, fixed, I'm going to come back to my inventory and get the metal stuff on so you guys don't have to keep on staring at this. Okay, uh, right there is my armor back on. And right here is my sword and my shield back on. Now that I got that fixed, we're gonna go uh, get Fighter's Guild and uh, a few other things. Oh, these are Mundus Stones. They all have different effects. Uh, so I'm gonna pause real quick and uh, double check which one I need to grab. Okay guys, so we're back here, and uh, the one for my tank build is the Atronaut, which this increases your Magicka recovery. Uh, there might be some other ones that have a different effects, like I know the, this one right here called the Thief, this increases spell critical, and there's another one called the Lover, and those are going to be some of the best for Magicka DPS. There, there's going to be some changes if you're doing a Stam DPS, most likely. But now I am going to exit the house. I'm going to use this. See, other times you could just exit out of the house and go to the nearest way shrine. But basically what this is doing is this is allowing me to teleport to my guild mates. But this is, but it has it all like set up in this, so it's easier for me to teleport. I don't have to go looking through my guild to find them. It lets me teleport there. That is a another add-on called Beat Me Up, which I recommend getting uh, if you are on PC. The, if you if you can't get add-ons, I mean you can still do all the stuff that I'm doing. It's just that add-ons make your life easier. They're not necessary by any means. Uh, well, I'm gonna go to Glenumbra, and I'm gonna show you uh, how to get the uh, Fighters and Mages Guild story, uh, uh, 
store uh, yeah and the fighter engaged mages guild passive trees or yeah passive trees so you so you can get their skills um and there is three different locations that they can be at like I'll probably show you all three because I can't guarantee that this is the race city for me because I not paying too much attention to what it depends on what uh, area you're a part of which you can pick if you have a specific DLC but otherwise uh, it's just gonna be in well otherwise you're just gonna be in whatever uh, place that your thing was a part of so for me it was dagger welcome coverages. to the fighters guild then right the here they... there's gonna be this guy ah, dressed in the dagger ball covenant and let me and welcome you as you an see associate this right of the here, fighters guild complete yeah. Or, yeah complete you're gonna uh, get the fighters guild skill line now i'm gonna exit out of here and i'm gonna go to the mages guild which is the one right here And then in the Mages Guild, there's gonna be somebody else you have to talk to, which is this girl. Welcome to the Mages Guild. And then after you talk to her, allow me to welcome you as a student of the Guild. You'll get this skill line. And to level up the Mages, uh, the Mages skill line, the only way to level the Mages Guild skill line is to find more books. Which I have all lore books marked on my map, but you're not gonna have that. That's another add-on called map pins. But I gotta break into these people's house because of the books in Your their house. Will not be proud of this, nor should you. Be. You're acting rather suspicious. I just wanted the book, mate. Uh, as you, uh, I mean, as you can see, I did get a four gold bounty. I try it uh, because you can get bounty in this game if you get caught doing uh, doing stuff like breaking into people's houses. But I had to do it to get that skill book. I well. There might be another way to get it, but that's the fastest way to get that skill book. I'm busy. They're all over the map. There's like 20 or so in every zone, for the most part. There's some zones that don't have any, or there are some that just have less. But I'd say there's about 20 in most zones. Um, now that we have those two skill lines... Just a minute. Your crimes are known here. That's that. Which I'm just gonna pay that off. Because uh, there wasn't really a reason for me not to. Because if you try running away, they'll just come after you. Oh, you're also gonna want to do this every day when you have the gold. Because you can only do this once one time a day. Not this. Ride training. Okay, well. First, uh, to put on mounts... You gotta go into your collections, you go to mounts, then hit this one you're guaranteed to have. But I'm gonna put on the one that I got from the recurrent event. This is the one I have from the current event, and then now I'm gonna talk to this lady again. My horses are... Oh, uh, well, I, uh, I don't have enough gold right now, but if you look in here, My you, you can upgrade for 250 a day, upgrade either speed, stamina, or carrying capacity. I recommend leveling up speed, then I would go to stamina, then lastly I'd do carrying capacity. But it's up to you in what order you want to do them, just know that you can only level it up once a day. You can also get daily rewards once a day, too. And then right here is the crown store, which you, which lets you buy certain things if you have money. Or when you first start the game, you're going to have 500 starting crowns. Uh, yeah, like uh, right here is your daily reward, though. For every day that you get on, 
Ah, uh, you, you can get a reward. Like for, like, for me, I've been on every day but two days this month, so I can get every reward but these last two. If it's grayed out like this, you can't get those rewards. There's gonna be new rewards every month. The more you log in, the more of them you get. Now I have to wait another 15 hours until I can claim that since they're daily. Not daily from when you claim them, but you have 24 hours to claim this one, and then 24 hours to claim that one, and so forth. So it's just based on like a day timer. It's not like it doesn't. You could grab this, then 10 minutes later you could grab that if you grabbed that one close enough. It just depends on when you grab it. Now I'm gonna use that to increase my riding speed. Now, um, now that we're done with this, I am gonna start the main story. So the main story is that quest that I have right now that uh, says uh, talk to the hooded figure. Uh, call well, it tells me to talk to the hooded figure. It's called Soul Shrib in Cold Harbor, and then there's gonna be a hooded figure somewhere right over here. That or this that might not be the right zone. Like, this looks to me like this doesn't look to be the right zone. So if you want to know where it's at, you're going to go to your journal. Then if you uh, click on the quest, or well, once you're on the correct quest, if you had multiple, you could click on it to change it. And then click to M to show on map. So for me... So yeah, this is the correct starting city for me. I guess you, yeah, this is the correct starting city for me. So I gotta teleport to uh, Davin's watch, which I, which I'll show you. I click here, then uh, for the people on console, give me a quick second. Click on Tamrio. So, Davin's watch is in Stone Falls. So, I'll show you one more time. Davin's watch is in Stone Falls. Then, right in here is Davin's watch, which is the city I need to go to. Then, you're automatically going to have a way shrine unlocked here. This is the area that you need to go to. It's going to be different. Well, there's three different areas you might have to go to. This is the one I have to go to. Uh, this is going to be the, that area for you, for some people. For the other two, one of them would be the city that I just went into, which is Glenumbra. Then, uh, I can't remember exactly where the last one is, but if you look on your map, it will show, well, if you go to journal, click M, it will show you. Now, I'm going to pause real quick, because I need to go do something. Okay, I'm back, I had to go get myself some water. But, uh, now that I'm here, I'm gonna go inside the city, and I'm gonna go talk to that one lady. So, first of all, it wants me to come in the city. Now, right over here, where that blue mark is, you guys will have the compass, but, uh, you won't have the mini-map. Greetings. If... Now, after talking to her for here, you'll have to go to this house. Uh, for, there's a few other houses that you might have to go to. Uh, depending on, as I said, which area you're in. If you're in Lenumbra, wherever else, you're going to have a different place to go to. Excuse me. Now, this is the tutorial for the bait. Well, the, let me phrase that. Not tutorial. There's prologue quests for all the stories, for all DLCs. Like, there's a prologue quest for Greymoor, High Isles, all of them. Which you can do all the prologue quests for free for all the DLCs. This is the prologue quest for the base game, though. So everybody's gonna want to do this. And then this will let you go through the
now I'm gonna pause this real quick and then let, get back to you. Okay guys, so we're back and in the whaling prison now. This is where you start. Whoa there! Are as soon as right? you walk up to this, you're gonna meet one of the main characters for the base game story. And this is Lyris Titanborn. And you'll learn so more about like her through you. the main story. Must have been the runt of the litter. Keep your weapon ready and stay sharp. This place is full of surprises. Now we're running through, through the Wailing Prison, and there's gonna be a bunch of enemies through here. Keep moving. There are more Daedra on the way. Yeah, these are Daedra, which are the kind of the main enemy for the uh, base story. They also killing these guys will give your fighter skill the EXP. Fighter's guild is killing Daedra. Mage's guild is finding lore books like I showed you guys last time. Well, not last time, but earlier. Have to wait with her. Then this guy's gonna spawn. Now, after killing him, oh, I have to go re-get my skills. Let's quickly. get out of here, my friend. Uh, so, do you see how I have three skill points Prophet. now? I'm gonna wanna Reading grab rest. one like stone you, I am a fist, in this place. one spike you armor, me, then I'm also gonna wanna grab lava whip. And since Lava Whip Hold is gonna be my spammable, I'm gonna to put talk. that on my mouse button. The Prophet! I don't know. Once we rescue the Prophet... After this moving. prologue stuff, I will let you guys listen to the dialogue. Plus, uh, you'll listen to dialogue throughout the story. <laughs> As you can see though, it's available it's just a normal that lets you cast it with succession. Well, then, as long as your skills are you on you your bar, as long as you're in, as long as they're the there, whether you're using them or not, they'll speak. get XP. But they get more XP when you're using them. Or or uh, when you kill people with them, if it's that kind of skill. Because the those skills aren't every for damage, of some are for other you things. Distract. Like this here. Well, not that. Two. Or, uh, my armor. That's for defense, not, a pet, uh, not for attack. <laughs> Now I'm gonna finish killing these people. What was your name again? Target practice. The more people you kill, the more XP you're gonna get, but if you don't kill them, then you're, you might get less XP, but you can get finished faster, so you can kind of decide your priorities on what you want to do right this second. Because I mean, they're not the greatest XP, but XP is XP. Try to be inconspicuous. We just got free of this place. Now you gotta wait for that eye to turn around, and you gotta come up here and take it to destroy it. Now that that eye is destroyed, you gotta head back down. And then there's gonna be another gate that you're gonna need to look at right here. Now coming over here, you're gonna look at this gate, and then it's gonna say, nah, you can't go through that gate. We gotta wait for years to get over here though. Fool! You will never escape my realm. Hermamora's wagging tongue. The door's warded. We'll never get in this way. See, he pretty much tells you, yeah, nah, you can't go through that door. So now you gotta come uh, over here and talk to another guy. Well, first you gotta talk to Lyris, then you gotta go talk to another guy. Damn it! Destroy. 
Cadwell yeah, I gotta go talk to Cadwell. I forgot his name. Because I don't really One normally play the base story all that often. Of night. Two. Um, yeah, th this he's gonna tell you that there's the Undercroft to go through. He calls it a delightful place. This Undercroft is a delightful place. It probably means it's a death trap. Yeah, as Lyra says, Cadwell's kind of off as rocker, so if he's calling it a delightful place, it's probably a pretty effed up place. And then, and then watch the spring. When it shakes, that means that, uh, that's when you want to let go of it. The sooner you get that door open, the sooner we can get out of here. So, those ones were a lot of low, well, there were a lot of higher up pins. Which are the ones I don't like as much. The farther you have to press it down, the easier it is for me. Could be a little bit different. Now, I kind of just want to head through this place. Come get some more, you You can kill enemies if they're in your way, but otherwise, I mean, I don't really worry about killing. Now, right over here is going to be our door. You don't have to run through that, you can wait, if I just didn't really care. If you have like really low health or something, you might not want to run through that, but it's up to you. Cage should be just ahead. Quickly now, we haven't much time. Good news is we made it here in one piece, and the prophet looks unharmed. Now, the now moves, we gotta to protect Lyrus and, and let her save the prophet. I'm not going with you. There's a trick to opening this up. That is the name, name I have, I have given, given you. You, you are, are but a trace, trace of your, your former self, self, a soulless one, one an empty vessel that longs to be filled. It is as, as the scrolls scroll foretold, but not, not exactly, exactly as I imagined. Why does Lyris call you the prophet? That is, that is what, what I've come, come to be called. called. My, My true name, name is lost even to me. me. Years of torment have taken their toll. Quickly now. We must, must make haste to the anchor. Anchor? The anchors are Daedric machines of the darkest magic. Their chains bind our world and pull it towards Cold Harbor. I can use one of these anchors to return us to Tamriel, but you must lead me to it. All right, stay close then. Up the stairs quickly. We must get to the anchor mooring. Now I'm gonna do that for for some of the main story dialogue, especially some of the more important stuff. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that for everything. There it is! The dark anchor mooring. Now, we're about to escape, so we're probably coming close to you.
The mortal thinks it can defy me. Futile. Soon your world will be in my chains. I gotta destroy this pile of bones quickly. Now he's not super strong, but it takes a second because he has a good chunk out. I'm gonna take the necklace. He can drop a few different items, I'm pretty sure. The dark just Shard of a furious, fall upon us now. Yeah, now and he's gonna bring the sky blessing. shirt back, like what you saw in the first there, quickly, episode. Collect the sky and then, uh, just so you know, after you collect three of these sky shards, you get a skill point. These are also gonna be all over the map, kinda like lore books. Great Akatosh, Dragon God of Time, I require your strength. Let the way be opened, that these wandering souls return home. Let the will of Molag Val be denied! Hurry! We must go now! Now, this is bringing us through to a different area. Which, this is where the main story is gonna take place for my alliance gonna be different for everybody. As I fear, I cannot force Now you get to complete that quest, do not and then you say goodbye to him, and then that is the end of the uh, first little story quest for this area. For me, I'm gonna take the iron for you guys, uh, depending on what you're doing. If you're Magicka, you're gonna want to take light. If you're, if you're trying to do a stamina, Build, you're gonna want to take the medium. I'm gonna take the iron. Then put my other point into there. Then I shall see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.